I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from test paper of my student. The topic is sinusoidal functions unit 6. If the function y equals to sin x and y equals to cos x are subjected to a horizontal stretching of 2, what transformation would map the resulting cosine curve into the resulting sine curve? So that is the question, right? So let's try to understand how they are actually related, right? So, so we'll, I'll just draw these two functions. When we talk about the sine function, it starts from the axis, right? So it is kind of like this. But when we talk about the cosine function, then it actually starts from the maximum value, right? So it is kind of like this. So that is how these functions are. Now, the question here is that both have been subjected to a horizontal stretch of 2. It means what? So if I subject them to a horizontal stretch of 2, then what is the time period? Normally it is 360, but when stretched by 2, that means we are talking about uh, sine of half x or cos of half x, correct? That is stretching horizontally by a factor of 2. In that case, the time period is 720 degrees. Do you understand? Since they are stretched horizontally. And their equation should be like I have shown here, right? Now it says, if the function y equals to sine x and y equals to cos x are subjected to a horizontal stretching of 2, what transformation would map the resulting cosine curve onto the resulting sine curve? So we have to map cosine curve to the sine curve. So what is, how does it map, right? That is what you have to see. Can you tell me the answer for this? You can pause the video and answer the question, right? Now, if you want to map this to the sine curve, then you can see from here that the sine actually starts from, I mean, the cosine actually starts from quarter of the cycle away. Do you see that? Now, quarter of 720 is how much? So we say time period is 720 degrees. Quarter of 720 is 720 degrees divided by 4 or 180 degrees, right? So that maximum occurs at 180 degrees. Do you understand? So if you are mapping from cos to sine, so you are looking at the sine. So actually the sine, in the sine wave, maximum comes 180 degrees after. Do you see that? And therefore, we can say you have to move cosine wave 180 degrees to right. Right? So that it can map to the sine wave. Right? So that is how you are going to answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.